Hey, welcome back to Soul Whispers Tarot. I'm Karen. Today's reading is their thoughts of you today. There's three cards for you to choose from. Set of cards number one is the mint green ice donut. Set of cards number two is the raspberry love heart donut. And set of cards number three is the rainbow buttercream donut. So take some time to tune into the energies of these. See which one resonates with you the most. It's fine to be drawn to more than one of these as well. You can pause the video right now if you need to, and then we'll get straight into the reading. Welcome to set of cards number one. You've chosen this mint green ice donut. So this is your person's thoughts of you today. Let's start off with the tarot cards. We have the world. So there's some sort of powerful ending of a chapter, end of an era in this connection and a new beginning. This card that you chose here is the five of cups. It normally shows three cups spilt over, but two cups still standing upright. So they're thinking about some sort of loss that's happened or separation that's happened between you both. But they feel like there's unfinished business. They feel as though you're supposed to continue this connection on. That there's meant to be so much more that's going to unfold between you both. Their thoughts of you today. Yeah, look, crossroads. They need to make some sort of decision here. They're unsure. They're in some sort of dilemma. In some cases, it could be that they're with someone else or it doesn't necessarily have to mean that. It could be a love versus fear thing. Just said it one at 11. So fear could have been getting the better of this person in the past. They were burying their head in the sand, but maybe it's led to some sort of loss or their fear. It's going to lead to a loss if they don't take action towards you. So they're really thinking about this. This is them seeing a higher perspective on your situation. What else are they thinking today? We have the eight of wands. This is them wanting to race towards you. They just want to take a bite of you. Um, you know, they they want more. They are hungry for you. Um, what else is here? We have the six of pentacles. They want to be generous with you. Maybe there was an imbalance of give and take in the past between you both. And um, maybe you were giving more. Now they want to shower you with so much attention. They want to give you everything that they weren't giving you in the past. And this is the queen of wands. This person, they're very inspired by you. They find you to be very confident. You go for what you want. They may have felt intimidated by this in the past. Um, these look like uh, balloons to me. So this person, they want to transcend um, any difficulties here. They want to rise above whatever's happened in the past and make things happen between you both okay this is them feeling ecstatic feeling on cloud nine when they think of you they find you very attractive they f feel as though you're very magnetic and they're very drawn to you and yeah again maybe that made them feel intimidated somewhat in the past but they can't bear the thought of losing you let's look at a message card I'm totally broken. This person, yeah, there's been some sort of really painful ending here and it's made them totally heartbroken. They've hit rock bottom, okay, but they want to rise up. They want um, progress in this connection. They want you to reconcile. They're hoping that you'll give them a second chance. Yeah, look, I will stay in control of this situation. This was the conflict in the past. This person, they had too many defenses up. They weren't being open and vulnerable and surrendering to this. They were being stubborn and closed off. We have the Six of Pentacles again. I want to give you everything, yeah, because there was an imbalance of give and take in the past and they want to make this up to you. Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. I can't let you go. The Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands again. Yeah, they're so inspired by you. I pushed you away because I was scared. But they're hearing the calling, okay? They feel guided towards you. So they're going to take this leap of faith. Yeah, look, I'm much more secure in myself now. Yeah, so this person, they are 
waking up and, and really knowing that they have to take some sort of action here towards you. And this is what they are currently preparing themselves to do. So if this reading has resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That all really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here. Take care. Welcome to set of cards number two. You've chosen this raspberry love heart donor and this is the ace of cups. So this is your person's thoughts of you today. Let's start off with a tarot card. We have the wheel of fortune, your person. They're ruminating about something. They're fearful. This person's tied to this wheel. I imagine it's spinning around really fast and there's knives being thrown at them. So your person's feeling very vulnerable and look, they're in this very open, vulnerable posture here as well. So they're ruminating about something as well. Something keeps going round and round in their mind today about you and your connection or something that's happened between you both. Let's dive deeper, begging, yeah. This person is wanting you back. They're regretful about something that's happened in the past. Apologizing, they want a second chance with you. They're feeling desperation, they're needing you. This feels like a life or death situation. Yeah, definitely with the knives being thrown at the wheel here. Wow, this person, there was some sort of karma that's played out. Um and some sort of negative pattern and this they're wanting a second chance they're wanting to put this right they're so fearful of losing you let's dive even deeper their thoughts of you today we have this six of wands so this is victory after struggles after battles this person wants this victory and love six is the number of love um, they want things to work out. They want you both to rise out of whatever adversity has happened here. Let's get a message card. True feelings right now. I'm too scared to face up to it. I feel like your person, they ran away or they were dishonest. Like they were just too fearful to be honest about something. It could have been about their feelings. They felt too vulnerable, okay? They felt like they were on extremely shaky ground. They felt very nervous, very uncomfortable because they were vulnerable. And it's all an indication that they have deep feelings for you. Just said 222. So let's dive even deeper into this. Their thoughts of you today. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to come forward. They want to make amends. They want to offer you something real. They want to plant positive seeds, create a firm foundation for a new beginning between you both. And look, the Seven of Swords again, which was, I'm too scared to face up to it. It's in reverse. They want to come back, maybe with their tail between their legs. They're feeling foolish. They're feeling embarrassed about something. But this is saying they want to be truthful. They want to express some sort of deep truth that they were too afraid to talk about uh, in the past. They want to come forward with an explanation, an apology. What else are they thinking about today? Destiny. I feel like they're praying to the divine for help. They feel like your connection is fated, that you're supposed to be together. Um, and they're really hoping that it will happen, that you will get back together. They feel a, a powerful soul pulled towards you. You have some sort of soul contract together. So let's look at another donut card. Their thoughts of you today. The seven of wands, so they're thinking about how they were defensive, they're, they're thinking about how they need to overcome these fears, they need to overcome their walls if they want this to work with you. So they're trying to build up that courage, they're really trying to rack their brains, trying to figure out how to have that courage. And we have, I will look after you, the emperor. So yeah, four is about stability. They really want to be there for you. They want to be dependable. 
they don't want to be all over the place yeah look we have i'm much more secure in myself now this is what they're working towards it's just said four 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 so if this reading has resonated with you please let me know in the comments give it a thumbs up share it subscribe that all really helps me out with the algorithm thank you so much for joining me here take care bye Welcome to set of cards number three. You've chosen the rainbow buttercream donut. This is the ten of pentacles. So this is your person's thoughts of you today. Let's start off with a tarot card. We have the two of swords. So your person, they are avoiding thinking something. I feel like there's something painful here or something scary. They have to make some sort of decision. This is them being in denial. I feel like they're trying to distract themselves today. There's some sort of important issue within your connection that they have to address. I feel they fear, they fear loss though, okay? And so they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do in your situation, in your connection. They're fearful of loss. I feel like they think worst case scenarios. So this is making them feel immobile, like they're too afraid to take some sort of action. So yeah, they're in some sort of denial, or distracting themselves today. Betrayal. Deception, lies, heartbreak, stabbed in the back, separation, breakup, cheating, third party. This person, they could be trying to hide like the truth from you. By being so closed down, they're not looking at your eyes or, you know, they're not revealing their own eyes. They're shielding their heart. Hmm. Let's clarify further. This person, you know, for some of you, this person could have a tendency to think worst case scenarios and they have severe like trust issues and so they're just they're trying to forget you or something because they're convinced that you've either betrayed them or you will betray them we have the knight of cups and the four of pentacles so secretly this person feels so much passion so much desire this is the most romantic of the nights you make them feel so alive um but then four of pentacles is them being very resistant this is kind of similar to the imagery here in the traditional tarot the four of pentacles shows the person rooted to the spot they sat down and they can't move because they're holding all of those pentacles close to them so this is a holding on energy to their comfort zone what i'm really feeling is going on here is this person has a severe like belief and fear that you will betray them that you will get bored of them you will move on from them you'll find someone better so it's like this person is not even allowing themselves to go there with you they're not um, allowing their heart to open they're trying to distract themselves from their feelings but secretly they feel the night of cups so much love and desire and passion a cat may be significant for some of you there's a there's a cat here as well let's get a message card so yeah this person has intense feelings but they don't feel good enough for you so they it's like they don't want to make a fool out of themselves as well so they're denying their feelings I'm hearing the calling. This person is being guided by spirit to follow their heart. They are hearing it, but they're like, la, 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 with fingers in their ears, not listening, not looking, um, denying. See all of these cards that are briefly coming out, but quickly turning back over. They don't want to reveal their truth. I'm offering you something real. This is why it scares them, okay? Your connection scares them to death because this is an opportunity for real love. And real love always triggers us um, because real love requires us to release our blocks, release 
our triggers and it's scaring the hell out of this person we have telepathy and ghosting yeah this person is ghosting you it says running avoiding feeling overwhelmed difficult emotions bottling up feelings silent treatment but you feel their energy around you all of the t the time because you are connected through space and time. This is a multi-dimensional connection. You feel each other's emotions. So you know how this person feels about you. There's a lot of mind reading. But in a 3D, it's like they're in complete denial. Let's get one more tarot card. Their thoughts of you today. Yeah, they have passionate thoughts. It, and these keep coming into their mind, but I feel like they're trying to quickly distract themselves and deny these feelings. So if this has resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That all really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here. Take care. Bye.